All right, just got done replacing the negative battery cable. So for people who have a Ford F-150 97 or within a few years of that, they run a ground wire from this bolt to the battery. And then they run a nice heavy gauge, four gauge, all the way down to the bottom to the solenoid, which I'll show you in a second. From the solenoid, it splits and goes to here. In fact, all these wires go inside this little hook. All right, let's show you up in here. Oh, need my flashlight so y'all can see. So that's the starter, that's the solenoid. See the starter, lovely, rusty, and black. Oh, I need like three hands for this. Oh well. So this is my new line right here. I ran ahead and reused the old one, connected the other ground that I just showed you that's in the wheel well. And I ran the other lead to that other ground at the top there. So that way I didn't have to run short into the battery. It doesn't actually need all that extra grounding. It did start up. Um, with that being said, more grounding is always better than less. A lot of people have grounding issues with vehicles and trailers. So... I would recommend putting it back. Um, so yeah, I've got a double two little things on there. Oh, come on, light. There we are. There you go. You can see a little better now. I haven't cleaned up the wiring yet. Um, but it's starting to get dark. Ugh. There you go. So that is a part of the original wiring right here. Get out of the cable. Going all the way back. That's what I was showing you. Ah. Monkey, get a hand to hold a flashlight better than me. This is also a part of the original wiring. But instead of running to the battery, I now have it going down. I actually soldered it and heat shrink to the heavier battery cable to that other grounding cable. Uh, you can run new wire if you want. I had the wire and then after cutting off the bad stuff, it looked pretty darn good. I'll fix that. So now I got a single battery post, a single wire to the battery. I'm gonna fix that. I don't like that either. Uh, what happened is it was replaced many years ago with one of those. Hold on. With one of these. We've all seen them. They work until they don't work. And then you keep cutting a little more and a little more. And then you get to the point you can't cut any more wire because you can't get to the battery post. So. That's where I'm at now. I like this though. This is no exposed copper. Should really help fight the corrosion a lot better. Anyway, that's a Ford F-150, 2007, running a new grounding battery cable. I hope it encourage someone else to uh, fix their truck or maybe help them out a little bit. Y'all have a good one. Bye.